The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Back on the Domino's Post Game Report is Carson Newman Falls to the Lenore Ryan Bears 41-20. to I'm Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman head football coach Mike Turner. And Mike, a frustrating one today. Five fumbles lost. You lost six fumbles all year. Uh, throw two interceptions. Uh, turnovers tell the tale uh, of this one. How do you sum up a frustrating senior day loss? Uh, I, I don't know how to sum that up except it's awful disappointing and, and to me it's I'm disappointed for our kids who uh, played better today you know uh, I thought our want to was better today I thought our aggressiveness was, was better today and we just made some mistakes and you know it just uh, you know I, I told them man I hurt for them okay uh, and I hurt for them deep down inside because of the way they did respond to coming back out and and to get after this football team that's a quality team in the lower Ryan. Uh, had our chances, you know, and we had three turnovers in the first half. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, we we had it there in front of us. They played hard enough to do it. And then, you know, we came back in the second half and talked at halftime. Like, hey, here's where we were last week, 21-14. to 14. Now, what are we going to do? Well, they go drive and score, I think, and they tied it up. And we come out and then move the ball and then turn the ball over. And, uh, you know, we did it twice. We knew that we had to uh, – throw the ball a little bit more on first down today to get out of some uh, tendencies that we have and physically make us better and give us chances to, uh, you know, uh, have better production. And, and we were working in that direction. Uh, but but we made the mistakes and we made the errors. And, you know, uh, defensively, uh, we couldn't uh, give them enough rest uh, uh, to get them rested up. I thought those kids played tremendously hard, uh, had played with great heart today. So, uh, you know, Lenore Ryan won the football game. Uh, they they played in a manner in the second half uh, deserving of that. They were very uh, consecutive on moving the football and keeping the clock running. Uh, so we've got to get lined up uh, to get ready to go next week and have a great week of practice and get ready to get on the road to go play Pembroke and uh, make sure that we finish well, that we finish strong. You look at that first half. You have the football after a long kickoff return, plus an offsides, gives it to you at the 40. It's a 21-14 game at the time, and you chuck a ball into the end zone. Kyle Duggar makes a play on it, gets picked. <coughs> How much did that play <coughs> change the complexion of the game? You're talking about in the first half, right? Yeah, in the first half. I, I, I don't think so. I, I think we had a chance to go for a touchdown right there. We ran a bootleg. Uh, if it was covered, the whole – two-thirds of the field was open for the quarterback to keep it uh, I wish we'd have thrown it a little earlier he you know he was open no doubt about it and we hung it up there a little bit but I, I think we wanted to show our kids that we're going to play aggressive and, and and try to go for it to try to go up 28 to 14 at that time uh, but our defense did a great job of holding them back and and not giving up the touchdown right there so I think at halftime you know the defense held them not only that and blocked the field goal you know we're up 21 to 14 and, uh, you know, when we're in good shape, we just need to go make something happen. It, nothing, uh, you know, what they did, there was not anything that surprised us. We just, you know, we needed to execute better. You you look at that second half, start the first three drives and fumble all three away, two of which came after some sustained right. uh, ball movement. Uh, can you pinpoint any – I know nobody's trying to lose a fumble. Uh, <laughs> but it, was there anything that happened today that made – ball security different than the rest of the year where you've been so sound and solid. Oh, absolutely. And, and you know, I, I don't know there was anything. The weather was perfect. Yeah. You know, I, I don't see anything. There was any reason for that. It's just, you know, gosh, our kids were fighting their tail off to try to win, to, to try to get yardage, to try to, to put us in a scoring position. Uh, but we turn the ball over like that. It's it's it's, it's hard to win when you turn have, have that many fumbles and you throw a couple of picks and add on to it. I joked with you during the uh, the pregame interview that you just shouldn't punt today, and you right. didn't do much of that. <laughs> no, <laughs> and that's not the good way not to do it. The good way is to drive it 90 yards and score <laughs> touchdowns. That's right. Uh, but, uh, you know, like I said, I hate it for our kids. We had, we had chances to make plays. We had chances to win the ball game, and unfortunately we didn't. 
and I know there's something we're going to be learning from this, all right? I know there's something we're going to learn from this, and I just want us to be together to, to come back next week uh, to get bonded right, and let's go out and, and let's go win this next one and finish strong. Uh, look for a couple positives out of this. Special teams were a struggle last week. This week, uh, you make Kyle Duggar a non-factor in the kicking right. game. You block a punt. You block a field goal. Uh, you return two kicks across midfield. What can you say about the job special teams? Well, today? just just grateful and thankful for their work to get better. Uh, you know, and then last week it was, you know, no turnovers and, and the <laughs> kicking game, the special team. So, you know, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll finish th- this thing up right at Pembroke next week and see if we can't play a complete game from, from A to B to C to D and all the way down the line. A couple seniors stand out in their final games here at Mossy Creek. Tamoris Coates, career-high 15 tackles. Mario Mezier, five pass breakups. That's the second most in a single game in school history. What about the job of those two in their oh, final just games? Showed great heart, showed great courage. Uh, you know, we're guy, they're guys that people rally around, and uh, you, you really admire those kids. And, you know, that's, that's part of the heartbreak for, for somebody to play that hard and, uh, and be that productive. You wish you could uh, – make the results a little better. Mike Turner, uh, final thoughts from a tough one here at the Creek today. Well, buddy, we just got to uh, – I don't know, man. It's uh, – I said it's – we we made ourselves uh, – we were on our own worst enemy today. Uh, but like I said, we did have the opportunity and we had some places where we could have made it – made a stand here or there or, or had some drives and got it done, but we didn't. And now, you know, you find out what you are. What are you going to do now? And uh, hopefully we're going to rally and get it done next week. Mike, pleasure as always. We'll talk to you at Pembroke. All right, Adam. Thank you very much. That is Carson Newman, head football coach, Mike Turner.